guys, Crisis Religion here, and guys, I'm here with another Photoshop Touch tutorial in the series I have, and guys, this is, I believe, episode 4, and this week, or not this week, I guess, in this episode, we're going to be dis discussing how to get your arm to go over a picture. As you can see in this, I have my render, and just in this thumbnail I was making for an upcoming, upcoming series, and guys, I, as you can see, I'm just going to get my uh, lasso tool, you can just see right, uh, that bad's lagging a little. As you can see, like pretty much right where it was circled, it is um, over top my um, border, I should say. So I'm going to teach you guys how to do this, and you guys have been requesting it a lot. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete this layer real quick and open a new layer. And I'm just going to use a, um, a pre-made um, border, which I am going to have in my graphics pack. If you guys are wondering about my graphics pack, that is going to be released when I hit 1,000 subscribers. Which I believe I'm only around 40, 42 away from. So guys, get on that subscribe button and hit it if you didn't do this video. But yeah, guys, I just opened the um, the what you call it, the border. I cannot talk today. And now I'm gonna load in a render. So I'm just gonna go right here to my renders. And um, the border was on the left side. So I'm just gonna find a render that is um, somewhat point on the left side. So let's just look here. Uh, if these will all load. Let's see. All right, I have some loaded at the top. Um. Let's see. I think I'll just use this fishing rod one. Same one I just used in the thumbnail, but it's pretty simple and I can use it. All right, so guys, so this is how you're gonna do it. So you have your border and you have your render. Now over here on the side, you're gonna take your render, hit plus and duplicate it. And then put one render below the layer and one above. And actually, just to make this a little easier on you guys, I'm just gonna delete the top render and you're gonna take your bottom render, go to this plus button, and why am I on that layer? I don't know. But yeah, you're just going to go up here, hit the plus button on your render, and position it how you want. So I'm going to make it a little smaller right there. I think I'm going to want to have them maybe about right, maybe a little smaller. Uh, let's see. Maybe about here. That's where I want them. That looks good. So I'm just going to place them there. And right here, I'm going to duplicate it. That way, he's in the same spot. I'm going to put him over top. So now, guys, I have um, my render, the border, and a render below it. As you can see on the side, I'm just going to delete this empty layer. And guys, in order to get your the arm over, you're going to go to the top layer, go to your tools, and you need to use your lasso or your polygon selection tool. Since it's a render and it's Minecraft, straight edges, I'm going to use the polygon tool. So I'm going to go up here to the pencil and hit show pointer. You don't have to do this, but this just makes it a little easier on you, especially to get straight lines and stuff. So as you can see, there's transparency around it, so I only have to be close. So I'm just going to go around the render until I get to the arm or whatever you want to get over the te text or whatever so I'm gonna go right here then basically what I'm gonna do is I don't I ran out of room in the corner but basically guys what you're going to do is um just go just lasso it right around how you want it until you reach the edge of the border which as you can see I just reached edges right here so now I can just zoom out and um, pretty much just cut it right over and yeah, pretty much like that. So now I have that little um, down here at the bottom where it cuts, and that's where I want it to be cut. So now I'm just going to go up to the pencil and hit extract. And as you can see, guys, I have now my arm over top of the text. It's pretty simple. See, all I have is the render down here, which shows like my head and all that stuff. And I have my arm, which is pretty much duplicated. So as you can see, it's below it. But now I have a duplicated um, image of it above it. So then you just go up to FX, hit drop shadow, and you just drop shadow this. Then you go here, and you drop shadow this, and it's pretty normal. You do see a little line here. There might be a drop shadow wherever you um you cropped it out, but no worries. Just take not the eraser there. You want to go on the top layer, and um just maybe go to your blur tool, and if it load, and just blur it out. You, I, you can do a better job than I'm going to do right now. I don't really have messed around with the settings, so it's going to look a little ugly for me. But that's basically how you do it. If you don't, here's a tip. If you don't want that line there, be um, more precise. And I'm just going to get my pointer out real quick just to demonstrate this. Just get your pointer out and just like crop it out around the arm and like right around everything. Perfectly around the arm. Don't do a big cut like that. Just go right around the arm. And if you do that, there should not be a line, or at least it won't be visible, because it'll be right in the crease. But guys, if you did enjoy this Photoshop Touch tutorial series, please leave a like and possibly subscribe for more Pocket Edition news, updates, gameplay, and more. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.